I expect uh, uh, potentially some slowdown, but not very big uh, slowdown. And the reason is very, uh, uh, for me, is, is clear that if you look at the calendar of events, uh, uh, geopolitical, uh, uh, political, economic events between now and year end, uh, there is a lot of uh, 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 scope for uh, uh, clients uh, um, you know, thinking about changing their asset allocation and taking opportunities uh, with uh, with movements in, in, in the underlying prices. Uh, if you think about our our clients, we made a survey uh, with investors, uh, uh, actually uh, says that 61% of investors are considering, will consider an asset allocation shift uh, after the elections in the US, no matter who wins. So. Uh, if, if, if I put everything together, I do expect the second half of the year, uh, maybe not to be as benign as the first half, but still uh, quite robust. So that would suggest that you feel that markets may have run ahead of themselves in pricing in some Goldilocks scenario around a V-shaped recovery and a vaccine being delivered before year end. Well, there is a definitely, uh, I don't know if it's complacency or... Uh, uh, or a little bit of uh, over optimism uh, in in the marketplace. If you look at almost every asset classes, is now back into you know uh, pre-COVID uh, uh, levels. Uh, credit is still uh, not there, but has been coming in a lot, and uh, and uh, therefore there is not a lot of room for disappointments uh, in, in in financial markets. In that sense, uh, uh, should the situation uh, uh, deteriorate. Uh, uh, um, you know, I do expect uh, some uh, some movements in the market to reflect uh, the new uh, the new economic uh, data that we will see uh, coming out after the summer. There's been a lot of speculation about what your largest clients are actually doing, given that there was talk that many of them raised money initially to take advantage of this uptick we've seen for equity markets. Is it fair to say now that your larger clients are actually beginning to liquidate their equity market positions, as some reports suggest? The re when I look at uh, uh, the behaviors of clients, uh, it's quite different. So I wouldn't uh, categorize them all in one uh, bucket. Uh, I, we saw uh, some clients uh, taking uh, profits uh, during the second quarter, the one that were quite active and and. and 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 and, and uh, picking up assets uh, during uh, the first quarter uh, took uh, took advantage of that. Many others uh, shifted a little bit their uh, asset allocation. So uh, we saw uh, also on the lending side uh, some of our clients uh, taking a little bit of uh, uh, leverage, uh, others uh, deleveraging. So it's a mixed picture. I I wouldn't describe it as a one-way clear trend uh, with our clients.